Assalamu alaikum, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you see me looking down, because it's because I'm reading my notes from my phone. So, yeah. I wish what's happening right now in Gaza is doing something to you. I hope it's changing you. I hope it's making you reflect on yourself. If you're Muslim, I hope you're asking yourself, have I done enough? Am I strong enough? Am I doing enough for Allah? And am I strong enough as a servant of Allah? Because we Muslims are supposed to be strong. We are servants of Allah, so we're supposed to be strong. Because look at the people of Palestine with what they're responding. Seriously, with what they're responding to the genocide. And I'm not talking about their women or their men. No, no, I'm talking about children also. Look at the children. They're responding with, Alhamdulillah, Allah knows better. Death is not scaring us. We all know in details what's happening right now. Uh, so I'm not going to explain what's happening. There are better videos out there. Um, better and informative videos that do exactly that. I am here to reflect and to talk. Be because it also shook me, besides the Palestinians faith and strength, is the influence they had on non-Muslim as well. The videos are, are all over social media platforms and I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen, you've seen some of them. And that pushed me to do this video as well. I was not going, I wasn't going to do this video, but I couldn't really stand just seeing. So I was like, why not? Because I was reflecting on everything that has been happening in the past month. And I was like, okay, I am doing this video. I am talking my mind. Why do you think... Why do you think more people are getting interested in knowing Islam? Why do you think they are buying Quran, they're purchasing Quran with their money and read it? Seeing, seeing this really gave me chills. Seriously. And I couldn't ignore the wisdom behind it. With this genocide and with the people of Palestine being this faithful, being this strong and having an enormous amount of tawakkul in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala non-muslim are saying that they were taught wrong that they were manipulated by the media and that they were simply unaware of the truth who showed them the truth who pushed them to question everything they believed in and everything they grew up with Gaza's people the woman holding her dead child in her arms and between brackets, these people are not dead. These people are pretty much alive. These people istashhadu, which means they died for Allah's sake. Back to the woman holding her son or her daughter. And this is just an example. It could be a man also. We've seen videos of both women and men holding their children. And it's such a terrifying sight. But this woman is not complaining. It's not cursing anybody. She's saying, Alhamdulillah, if Allah wanted this for me, then I'm okay with it. Because Allah chose this for me. And uh, back to the people who are, who are dead for Allah's sake. They're not dead. وَلَا تَحْسُبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتًا بَلْ أَحْيَاءً عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُونَ And never think of those who have been killed in the cause of Allah as dead. Rather, they are alive with their Lord receiving provision. SubhanAllah. Everything is in Quran. People reverting to Islam or just being curious about Islam and what it says because of a nation showing faith in Allah while facing something this horrible. <clears throat> it's, something we should, it's something we should sit and think about it. If the non-Muslim is opening Quran now, shouldn't you do better? 
Shouldn't I do better? Shouldn't we do better? In this case, I'm not perfect or near to be to being a good Muslim. I am just trying every day and striving to be a good one, inshallah. And I hope you're striving too. I hope you're trying your best. So I'm not lecturing anybody here. I'm only reflecting, as I said in the beginning of the video. How could Gaza, even after all these years of being oppressed, of being bombed, still rising, still has more than 2 million people residing? I saw a video of a Palestinian man conveying a message saying that Gaza will not surrender. I was like, Gaza will not surrender. I'm sure Gaza will never surrender. The strength that I can never understand, for real. I saw stuff like the enemy laughing and making jokes on the internet about the whole situation. They seemed very proud of their doings. I even saw, I even saw a video of the enemy saying that they killed the children and now schools in Gaza are closed. This I cannot get. My mental abilities and are not for this. I I'm a human. So I can't really comprehend inhuman behaviors. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَلْيَدْحَقُوا قَلِيلًا وَلْيَبْكُوا كَثِيرًا جَزَاءٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ Translating to, So let them laugh a little. They will weep much as a reward for what they have committed. SubhanAllah. And as I said, everything is mentioned in the Quran. A little story about the importance of Palestine to Muslims and Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave such special mentions to Palestine in the Quran, leading to, to, leading to it having a great significance for Muslims. For example, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Allah named it the Holy Land. And there's um, an ayah, يَا قَوْمِ ادْخُلُ الْأَرْضَ الْمُقَدَّسَ الَّتِي كَتَبَ كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَلَا تَرْتَدُّوا عَلَىٰ أَبْدَارِكُمْ فَتَنْقَلِبُونَ خَاسِرِينَ Oh my people, enter the holy land which Allah has assigned to you and do not turn back from fighting in Allah's cause for then you will be returned as losers. In these are the words of the Prophet Musa alayhi salam. Another, and another ayah وَلَقَدْ بَوَّأْنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ مُبَوَّأَ صِدْقٍ وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ فَمَا اخْتَلَفُوا حَتَّى جَاءَهُمُ الْعِلْمُ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ يَقْضِي بَيْنَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فِيمَا كَانُوا فِيهِ يَخْتَلِفُونَ Indeed, was, we, we settled the children of Israel in a blessed land and granted them good lawful provisions. They did not differ until knowledge came to them. Surely your Lord will judge between them on the day of judgment regarding their differences. These are just two examples of in the Quran and there are so many others. And also Palestine was the birthplace of many prophets and it is home of Masjid al-Aqsa, one of the sacred mosques in Islam. Look at the blessings, look at the special mentions of Palestine in the Quran. All this happening to this beautiful land is not a coincidence. It's something Allah already mentioned in the Quran. It's something written and it's supposed to happen. It's not a coincidence. Also, it has been like this for decades now. It's not, it's not new. Nothing is new here. Nothing is new here. It's just that with the rise of social media, people are paying attention more now. And it's time for the world to see the truth. Alhamdulillah, the world is starting to see the truth. Something this huge cannot just pass by without changing something in you, without changing something in me. If it's changing the hearts of non-Muslims, of many non-Muslims, I assume it's changing something in us too. It's changing us to be better, inshallah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a little bit different from my previous vlogs, from my previous videos, but I just wanted to talk my heart here and wanted to share my reflections that I've been doing through this month. 
and and thank you so much